hello everybody this is gonna be my chapter 8 tutorial so right from the start you want to take a few steps to the left and out of those steps you want to sidestep and that way you land right on top of there uh, I can be pretty hard at first but it gets quite easy and you can just drop down and do a little wall boost on that hold the railing there drop down and then you want to land on that little knob there which can also be pretty hard but if you manage to land on it you don't have to roll at all then just vault the fence now here's one pretty annoying part these uh, guards will appear and depending on how fast you move they can be either kind of hard to deal with or relatively easy so what I'd recommend doing when you're just starting out organizing a rifle drop. is always go to the right of the box and stay to the right so when you're doing your things we'll do that Get away from them, babe. Jump and coil to the right, then uh, like stay on the very right edge. <clears throat> Until you reach almost at the end, like you can turn at about this single fan. The guard will be like somewhere here. The weird thing is though, if you cut through where he was, he'll actually somehow like teleport back there and kick because this game is so great. So yeah, just stay to the back. Try to turn kind of smoothly so you keep your speed and just jump there. If you get here really, really fast, you can stay on the left edge and then just from here jump there. But it's only about a bit less than a second, so you might want to keep doing that. Going around the right edge for a while. Then here again you can practice trying to get a fast vault. And here you'll get one anyway. Vault this, get over here. Right, so here what you want to do is kick glitch either on this side or this side. And out of that kick glitch you sidestep that away. And remember... After the key glitch, your camera will be aiming the sidestep. So, key glitch, look about there-ish, and it should work just fine. Just like that. And here you gotta roll. There's a way to avoid the roll, but it's pretty hard. Drop that. You can do a nice ground key glitch on that door frame. Don't have to do that, though. Then just button glitch this. Right then, out of this elevator, just sidestep like normal. Here's actually... This door, for whatever reason, lets you... Keep your momentum through it pretty well. So if you just look about the middle of the door... And have full speed. And then about when you're... At, like... The center of these white tiles. So usually if you're looking at the door, just... Whenever the corner of the white tiles disappears, that's usually when I try to jump. Just looking about the middle of the door. Nah, it didn't happen. Hold on. I wanna get this. Like that. So, maybe a little bit earlier. earlier. So, probably right as you're stepping into the white tiles. Like that. And just continue along here. Uh, there's two kick glitches here that can be pretty awkward. What you need to do for this one is jump kind of over this little knob here. And make sure you hit the wall at the corner there. If you hit it like in between these two, it can be kind of shitty. You can also hit it like on this part. But I usually just aim for the white bit at the end. And remember, jump into it from far enough away that you avoid this knob and that you don't have to do a roll over there. So just like that. What I kind of do there as well is sort of jump past it. 
and then turn my camera into it. Right, so just to mention it again, jump, and then while you're kind of jumping past it, just turn your camera kind of hard into it. Not that hard. <laughs> and key glitch on it. You don't need too much speed here to make it across here. If you try to do something like this, you'll get stuck on the knob. If you jump to it from super close... You get a hard fall here. So yeah, best way is to just jump from far enough away. Kind of past it, turn the camera into it and kick the right or right. I already said that like a million times. And this one is kind of similar again. Jumping past it helps. Uh, this one is kind of annoying because if you jump into it from too far away. Hold on. You hit that fence there and you die. So you have to kind of find the balance between getting close to it. And jumping into it. And this one is actually pretty easy if you do it with an angle like that. Just that way, even if you get kind of a dead kick, it'll mostly make it over. So I'd recommend just taking a step towards here. But yeah, this this thing eats your side steps on the roof here. But yeah. With an angle like that you can make it easy. Optimally you land on that thing and then do the old climb to get up here. Which is what I always kind of try to do. If you land here, you can just uh, try to get some neat speed walls here. Uh, landing on that thing is barely faster, but it's a tiny, tiny time save. Right, so here's the pipe skip. Uh, this one can be pretty awkward when starting out. Even these kick glitches are kind of hard when starting out, so I'd recommend just practicing these and not worrying about pipe skip. Just grab the pipes like that. It takes about three seconds or so. It's not too bad. And out of here, just war on a little bit and jump on top of this box. Uh, from this box, there's plenty of ways of doing this. You can just. Damn it. Just do something like that if you want. Whoops. If you land on the very edge of this, you can kill your uh, kill your hide with that roll or you can just double roll if you want to be really safe uh, you can also like sidestep here and death abuse <clears throat> there's basically a checkpoint this red thing is the checkpoint which is kind of awkward to land on, because if you like go straight along the wall, you land right here and you won't hit it. But it's not too hard to hit. Now I'll have these things floating about. Doesn't matter. Ah, uh, yep. Yeah. So just, I'd say, take it safe, roll here, and just roll again. And get in here. The top of the atrium you're about to reach. Right, so you can sidestep, do a little wall boost there. Bunny hop across, climb up this, and again try to get a speed bolt. Or fast bolt on this, or fast climb, I guess. Then <coughs> we can get another. Either animationless or a fast climb there. Right, so from here you want to do uh, the W 
or the space, then W. Side jump out of that, and wall boost to climb up this. Then you can just wall run here. Uh, make sure you don't jump into this pipe, because it actually slows you down a little bit. So just wall run past it, and then wall boost. You can also key glitch across, which isn't too difficult. And if you look at the wall, you get a key glitch into a wall boost, which is pretty handy. All right, wall run over here. Again, fast climb here. Uh, here you want to just make sure you start wall climbing or wall running as early as you can to get these fast climbs. And again, during the wall run, you can already let go of W. Uh, atrium is a pretty good place for practicing these. On the next wall, you can either do that or this. If you get a ton of speed out of this fast climb, it can be kind of awkward to do the war run thing. That's why I usually used to do the used to do just the wall climb, turn jump. Right here again, you could just kick it across, which is kind of risky, or just wall run. And yeah, out of wall runs, you can always look into the wall before you jump out, and that'll give you just a little bit better speed. Like out of that, I'm getting to about 26. If I look right there, I get to 22, so. It gives you a bit more speed. Right here. Uh, all of this is kind of comboed together. So I'm just gonna first explain it, then show it. You war on this for a short period of time. Instantly turn jump out of it, basically. Then you get a fast grab on this. Then you get a scroll jumps out of it. And you can coil jump on this and coil jump on that. Pretty simple, but it can be a little bit tricky the first time you're trying it. And now you're here. Get up this, turn. Get a fast climb on that again. That one, if you just get the right, <coughs> right height on this, you can just turn and do that. And just war run. Turn jump instantly out of that one. Right, so then you can... Usually you have a little bit of speed getting into this. You can just like... War onto about the middle. And then again just look into the wall and... Look into the wall and boost out. Then you can just run across this gap here. And that'll like kind of set you up nicely to get a fast vault here. You can get to the end of this. And you can sidestep over there. Can be a bit spooky. You can also just do this with like a jump if you want. Wanna be really safe. And here again. Can try to fast vault. Um, this wall is a little bit awkward to wall run on. Not sure at all what it's about. So I guess you can just uh, wall climb here. Uh, he has actually... Uh, weird checkpoint for whatever reason it's you know like this so that's where you kind of want to get here especially when you're starting out uh, you could be able to do a, it's a nice climb up there or if you did this jump early and then just run around you'd also avoid the checkpoint but I recommend just getting here plus we're gonna be avoiding that skip anyway so it's not Deal. Alright, get to about here. Should be some kind of vent near you. Quick route to the sniper position. And just carry on into the vent. And... Yeah. Again you can uh, you can kick glitch this gap here if you want. It doesn't make a huge difference. Yeah. 
bad. So again, there would be a hard fall here, but you can just kick it out. And right here. Mm, you can climb into this vent by doing like that. But it's kind of awkward actually. I didn't realize it was this awkward. Whatever. Just climb in. <laughs> Normally about here you'd get a checkpoint. I guess this is the trigger for it. I don't know. You can reload out of that checkpoint or drop down and die. Or run off and roll on there. You see the rifle? Get to it and get that convoy in your sight. Find a way of slowing it down. Pick up the sniper. I'm gonna patch you into the you can place it there. Get to the corner of this box. That way you'll have a view of the truck as early as you can. And then just shoot the engine of the truck. Pretty simple. There you go. Get to the door. Punch it in. And try to boost there. Uh, you can try doing like kicks on these if you want. Doesn't really matter. Either that or just bunny hop. Kick the door in. Uh, here we are. Uh, this area can be pretty awkward. Uh, what you need to do again is roll on the very tip top corner of this. And that way you will land on the lower level there without dying. So, uh, what you can try lining this up is just right about here, look at the edge, drop down like that. And you can do a nice little sidestep out of that roll. If you find that spooky, uh, you can just get here, drop down the stairs, and actually this is a pretty good backup if you don't get a roll here, or if you like see that you're gonna be hitting the thing too much to the center, because so basically you need to hit the very corner, that way when the roll is going out it'll drop down, and once the invisible platform like stops your momentum your roll will have like dropped you down enough and that way you won't die but if for whatever reason you land here you can just like drop down here then jump as far away from this wall as you can and still touch the wall you get a wall run and actually you don't want to jump on that kick glitch you want to sidestep on it and that way you land there right so you can do something like that as a backup if you really want to and remember, the further away from the wall you jump into it, the more your kick glitch will actually kill your distance or altitude. So yeah, you can try stuff like that. Then just... Uh, get into the revolving door and that would be that chapter.